Okay, hello everyone. Victor Momo from Excel Moments here, and I'm here to break down my formula solution to one of the Excel challenges on the Excel BI LinkedIn page. And like I've said in previous videos, if you don't follow the Excel BI LinkedIn page, you should if you really want to step up your Excel formula and Power Query game. All right, now to the problem. So we want to get a formula here which can take a look at all these words and then return for us, you know, the words that contain all the vowels of the English language. So it means that each of those words must contain A, E, I, O, U, all of them, not just one, all of them, okay? And a formula that just helps spill out only the ones that contain all those five. Normally, we would write this formula in one cell and then, you know, drag down. But I think, you know, it seems like there's a shift these days two dynamic arrays where it sits in one cell and then the formula spills to the other cells. But even if you're approaching it, you know, in the dynamic array, um, you know, um, manner, it still starts from understanding what is happening in a single cell. And when you know what's happening in a single cell, you can then make it spill either using a lambda helper function or a lambda function in itself or some other means. But you must understand what's happening in the first cell. So that's what I'm going to do. But Let's start up with the first cell. So how do I know if it contains those five, um, you know, vowels, right? I use a search function. That's how I think of it. So I search for each of them within, I search for each of the vowels within each of these words, okay? And I'm going to just put it in literally because I know this is not going to change. At least the vowels have been here before I was born and um, they seem like <laughs> they would always be, right? Okay, so... I'm doing this the manual way I never really do, but it's fine for demonstration purposes. And select this entire thing. Okay, so now, what does this mean to you? What it means is this row, of course, whatever you're seeing on the first row represents the row for audio metric. This row represents everything for umbrella. So this is saying, and you could put this here as A, E, I, O, U. So what this is saying is that A is found in position 1 here, and you can see that that's correct. E is found in position 7, that's the E in the metric, you know, I in 4, this in 5, and this in 2. So that's what this is saying. Now, because it spills and you can see the result, it always helps because you can then know how to move from what you see to your destination. So what I may want to do is convert this to true or false, or maybe get rid of... Um, you know, the hash value, whichever way I think is best to do it. What I mean, I could just maybe put an is number here, you know, just to give me true or false, right? Okay, right. So now you see that, let's put this kind of in the center of HAC, all right? So now you can see this. So the rows we are interested in are any rows that have five trues, basically. Okay, so one other way to think about it is you count the number of trues, and if the count is five, then, you know, that's good. So how do I go from where I am now to getting a count? Two ways I probably can approach it. I can use a by row helper function, right? By row, and say perform a certain operation row by row. And what would that operation be? It would just be to sum, you know, each of the elements here. Because if you do something like this, if you do a sum, and you need to put a mathematical operation in there, you know, because summing of truths would throw up some interesting things, right? You can see that that's five. So I can use by row and say go row by row, and it gives me the result of each of them. And I will compare the answers with five. Anyone that gives me five obviously has a five for us, okay? So that's one way. The other way is to use the mmult function, matrix multiplication. And this is the one I want to demonstrate. Why? Because this is the not too obvious one. Because the by row, you know, kind of just follows logically. So I would use the mmult. So how do I use the mmult? This is what I want to know. I want to know the count on each of these rows. So it means that ultimately, even though I have five columns here now for A, I, O, U, ultimately I want to just have one column, which would just be all the numbers, the count, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so now let's start off. What do we have currently? These are nine rows, I think. Yeah, nine rows. And we can see that here. So it means we have nine by five, all right? Okay, so that's a nine by five array. Now, our result is supposed to be still nine rows, but this time one column, okay? So the question is, what do you multiply a nine by five by to give you a nine by one? The first thing you need to know for matrices is that the number of columns here must be equal to the number of rows in the array you're multiplying by. So we already know that we need five rows here because if it's not the same, 
if the number of columns in A is not the same as the number of rows in B, you can multiply. So this is going to be 5. So that one is obvious. So already, so what else do we need to come up with a 1? Technically, we just need, you know, 5 by 1. Okay? That's how, the way I always think about it is 9 by 5, you know, I, I already see the 9 portion there. So I need to bring in the 1 in there and I bring in the 1. So if I do 9 by 5 by 5 by 1, it's more like you're just cancelling the second and third elements and you're left with nine by one so i need to multiply this by a five by one you know array so how do i do that five rows by you know um one column okay so i can use the sequence function i can use the sequence function and say sequence of five if i do sequence of five you know i have one two three four five right and that's my five by one. But the problem here is that if I do the multiplication with numbers that other than one, then my result is going to be wrong, right? Because this will become true times one, which is one. I now do true times two, which becomes two. By the time I add them together, I'll be having a number larger than what I'm looking for. So I probably want to reduce this, you know, to um, one, 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 one. I could have used a literal array, meaning just type it in there. But, you know, just showing the formula way to approach it. So I can raise this to the power of zero. Okay, and I have one, one, one. So technically, if I multiply these two arrays together, meaning this one, this nine by five by this five by one, I will come up with, you know, a nine by one array. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to take, you know, uh, just everything except this. I'm going to copy this. So I come in here and I do an M mult. Okay, so I take N mult and then I multiply this by, uh, you know, that sequence now you expect this to work but this isn't going to work and you probably would ask me why but well i'll tell you so why is it not working that's because you are multiplying you know booleans by numbers you need to find a way to convert you know the booleans to numbers first so what you can do before the east number is probably to do you know you can use the double unary or you can use zero plus whichever one okay so now you can see that we have our results let me get rid of all these ones here okay right so this is the count we need so now we can compare this count to five and say is it equals to five meaning that true or false okay so now you can see we have true or false so now that we have this it means the ones that are true meet the criteria the ones that are false don't meet so i can put a filter around this i just say filter these nine elements but only return for me the ones that give you a true okay so i come in here and then i put a filter and i say filter you know this entire thing based on you know the array you have here okay right so it means it's only going to show you the the rows that have trues on them and you have that result okay so it means that if i change this umbrella to let me just change this to unintentional now see what happens so you can see that we have two of them right so it's dynamic in the way that you know if anything changes here it automatically changes in the results you don't have to drag down so it's not like say oh yes i put the formula in one cell if there are now five results i drag down to five if there are three i adjust this is going to adjust automatically so this is how to solve it using m mod to have solved it using viral you know it's probably not as complex here you just need to have an understanding of you know our um, matrices you know and how the multiplication works or doesn't work so i hope you enjoyed this formula breakdown video um hopefully i do some more if you like it please hit the like button you can also subscribe to the channel excel moments for now i'm out